YouTube, Charlotte here for Inform Overload and I'm going to tell you about how global warming might actually be changing how the world spins on its axis. Melting ice is changing the distribution of water on earth, affecting parts of the earth that weigh more than the others. This has caused the wobble and the north pole to change position towards the east. Using NASA's two gravity recovery and climate experiment satellites, scientists have determined that over the last 115 years, the north pole moved 7 to 8 centimeters every year toward Canada. But then since the year 2000, it started moving back toward the United Kingdom and Europe. Climate change is at least partially responsible for this shift in mass. The rest is due to changes in continental water storage, but scientists are still unsure what specifically caused the changes. It could be droughts or the human consumption of water. This change is called polar motion and was published in a study on Friday in the Journal of Science Advances. Since 2003, Greenland has lost 272 trillion kilograms of ice a year. And according to NASA scientist Eric Ivins, that affects the way the Earth wobbles. 272 trillion kilograms a year? That's insane, and that's only Greenland. West Antarctica loses 124 trillion, and East Antarctica gains 74 trillion, which contributes to the polar motion shift to the east. Okay, guys, I know you're all freaking out at this point, but scientists assure us that this shift is harmless. But even though it is harmless, it does show how much impact humans have on our planet. The discovery came a few weeks after two scientists concluded that sea levels will rise several feet by the end of the century, which means that many of the Earth's coastal cities could be in danger of being submerged. Everyone has to do their part to prevent prevent this from happening. Ride your bike instead of driving. Be careful about how much water you consume. Recycle. Turn off your lights and tell everyone you know to do the same. Oh, okay guys, this is Charlotte for Inform Overload. If you found that video informative, hit subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.